is there. Okay, and the full screen. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, guys. Uh, now, today uh, is 18th of October 2020. Okay, recording is there. And uh, the first uh, heading is methods used to measure the rate of reaction. Okay, how uh, we can measure the rate of reaction. Okay, before uh, this slide, we cover up uh, the definition of rate of reaction. Okay, means what is the definition? Uh, but uh, what is their unit? But now the, uh, we have two procedure, how we can measure it. The first thing is that measure the rate at which a reactant is used up. Okay, we can uh, uh, measure the rate, rate means speed. We can measure the speed that a uh, uh, reactant will used up, okay, usage of reactant, now how, how much their speed, rate means speed. Measure the rate at which a product is formed. We will see the, the rate means speed, that at what speed product will be formed, okay, this thing. Now, another thing, boys, that uh, instrument used to measure volume of gas. Now, this is our two methods, right? And these are two uh, points that how, uh, how we can, uh, uh, you know, you can say that what is the instrument names that we are using to measure volume of gas? That is gas syringe and gas jar. Okay. Just uh, let me in. Someone want to in? Okay. So now the other thing we are saying instruments used to measure the mass of reactants used up or the mass of product or produce. We are saying electrical balance means uh, to know about uh, their weightage. So definitely we are using the balance and that is called electrical balance because electrical balance are so sensitive, okay? To even uh, to detect the milli or milligrams or a very small amount easily. Okay, the next slide is about how can rate of reaction be measured? Okay, so class, uh, this is this is uh, a slide mean we will take uh, one example in what can be measured to calculate the rate of reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. Okay, we'll take that one example here. Means, for example, magnesium plus hydrochloric acid gives magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. Okay, so we are saying that the amount of hydrochloric acid used up, means same, look, same here, we are using the used up. Okay, we are uh, cubic centimeter per minute. The amount of magnesium chloride produced here, magnesium chloride, produce okay so we will use uh, 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 you know uh, we should know about their weightage okay that how much uh, mass of hydrochloric acid were used and how much magnesium chloride will be produced so in the next uh, slide boys we are seeing the what equipment is needed to investigate the rate of reaction uh, rate of hydrogen production so we are saying it's a gas syringe. Okay, this is the only one word answer. This is, boys, this is an instrument. Okay, no need to draw it, just uh, know that, that uh, we can say that this is the gas syringe, this is a rubber connector, this is a glass tube, this is a conical flask, okay, this is a rubber bung, this is hydrochloric acid that we have to put in. This is magnesium, look, look at the magnesium. Okay, because say, uh, same thing, because here uh, in, the, uh, in the previous slide, we are dealing with these these things you know magnesium plus hydrochloric acid okay look at there look at there magnesium plus hydrochloric acid okay and as a result gas syringe means here oh, we will detect that something uh, were produced uh, what is their production now wait for a while but let me come back yeah that is where we are saying magnesium chloride plus hydrogen magnesium chloride plus hydrogen so Magnesium chloride, uh, wait for a while. We are saying, boys, this is a gas, sorry, this is the gas range. Okay, with the help of gas range, we can detect that uh, gas will be produced here. Okay, this is the rubber connector. And the magnesium chloride, definitely, uh, it will be produced here. Okay, in the next slide, boys, look, this is the uh, a graph. Okay, this is the graph to explain the rate of reaction on the behalf of the previous uh, slide that we are saying the slope of the line tells that how fast the reaction is going on. Okay, steeper the slope, 
faster the reaction will be and vice versa. Okay, this is the only just a graph here. Okay, 